Hi. I'm basically just making a more the of it background than the videos before. I know, but people aren't really too interested, encouraged in a plain background. So I thought I'll make a bit of effort. So yeah. Um, I love doing YouTubes. I love doing YouTubes when it doesn't come to talking politics. I don't like doing YouTube when it comes to talking politics, but I feel like I have to let my feelings out, express them out to the world. But when I, I when it doesn't come to talking about politics, it feels like you can say what you want to say about so much, like how the planet is like so doomed like, not, that's not positive that's negative but you feel like you want to say it you see what i mean i mean something you can say you're happy to say is like i hope my team's gonna win or i'm happy my team won or we got 21 degrees in a few days and sunny that's great right but you have to say say something because you know that you have to be honest with climate change, you have to be honest that some YouTubers are not bright enough in the head to realise the products they get are full of plastic and artificial things that are destructive to the planet. And also you got to be honest that um, Basically, fast food, uh, like, I like shit, basically. And you would you, eat your shit, so why would you eat that shit? Um, as much as I can, I'll try to eat organic. I'll try to eat some meat, eat um, replacement for meat, like uh, ground base stuff. Um, because I don't like to eat as much meat as he used to and everything I used to eat was free range in a way it was not like battery farms which is disgusting with treat animals it should be legal in every country um, and how fast food chains are allowed to exist is a shocking thing to be honest but I think also that like like, I know people, like, won't have kids because they know the planet is really on its way to destruction. Um, we'll get storms, like Storm Eunice, much more regularly and even more powerful in the next few years. We'll get floods, flash flooding to quicker speeds than we've had. We'll get probably bushfires sometimes but and then we'll probably get like yeah I think we're more likely to get floods so but um look but when you have a heat wave you have a dry couple of months in the spring of course you can have a bushfire in anywhere in the world um but the thing is um it's not about your own country it's about the other countries that's what we got to understand in the rest and in the countries we've got the money and we've got the easy life but there's countries who are barely existing above sea level there are countries who have famine who don't have food there's countries who simply won't exist or at least human rights won't exist in 10 15 years and people were just saying, what's that to do with me? Or why do I care? Or, I don't care. Or that, that kind of ignorance. Or ignorance is like, the other side is like, oh, but we got money, we got so much popularity, and so on. It's like, yeah. Some things just tick me off, but like, Bad parenting, obviously, for these people to be the stupid and so on. That's clear. A society not brought up for people 
to prepare to adapt to help other people. That's clear. Education systems, across America, is pretty shocking. Clearly, because that's where I hear it most. Um, obviously, China with their treatment towards animals is pretty dumb as well. Um, and don't question me about Russia right now, please. Um, I'm sure there's loads of other countries where actual treatment towards animals is disgusting, but if they're going to be a, a big economy in the future, they've got to show that they are learning. So, yeah. Basically, that's how it goes. Alright, thanks for watching this video. I'm an owl. I'm out now. Cheers, thanks, bye.